All right, we're masking together and we're doing an updated vanity tour because as you can see, I have lost my mind and I no longer have a vanity. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to check out another video and just putting up with me and my shenanigans. So I will link above and down below my old vanity tour that I did where I used to, like I had an actual like desk and like a little nightstand that housed all my makeup. So about, I think I've had this set up for like two months and I waited to get on camera and like reveal it to you guys because I wanted to like make sure that it would work for me. So you might be asking yourself, Haley, what did you do? So I, when I would sit at my like chair at like my vanity and do my makeup, I was finding that like my back would hurt, like my legs would hurt, like I just couldn't get comfortable. And in like my real life, I sit on the floor always. And like you see, like I film my videos on the floor, like I sit on the floor whenever I can. And that way it allows me to like comfortably change positions. Like I can, you know, move around and things like that. Like my legs don't fall asleep. Um, so I was thinking, well, why not apply that to doing your makeup? So we went to the dollar store and found these two ottomans, which I will open up and show you um, like how everything is stored inside. But so that's what I do is all of my makeup is stored in between these two ottomans now. I take out what I need. I have it like kind of separated out like you'll see project pan items are separated from like just um like shop my stash daily makeup items um so i'm not like constantly getting into these so it looks a little bit cluttered but it's not um but yeah so i will just take everything out and then i just sit here in front of the window i have like my little mirror that's in here and that's how i do my makeup and i found that it's much more comfortable for me. Like I actually find that I sit up straighter. Um, you know, like I said, I can move around and things like that. And so my body just doesn't hurt as much. So I'm really happy that I went to this like setup. This is what works for me. I'm not in any way like encouraging you guys to like change your life and sit on the floor all the time. But so my plan is that I cannot outgrow these two ottomans and I don't want things like stacked on top of each other. I mean, there's there's some stacking involved how it's set up now, but I don't want like a pile of blushes, you know, stacked up to where you can't like easily see anything. So I also think that this setup will allow me to not over like consume, um, not over purchase, not have more than I need. Like I know my collection is bigger than most people's, but I think that we're all kind of in that same boat where we went into like an overconsumption phase. Um, so yeah, I'm just really uh, happy with this. Um, that's really all I can say. Let's uh, switch the camera angle and I will open up these bad boys for you to see what's going on. Okay, so this first ottoman, which was, it's the one on the left, but I guess for you guys watching it in reverse, it's the one on the right. I don't know, not that it really matters, but this one houses all of like my palettes and kind of tool items. So this first bag, I'm just gonna pull it out. There's nothing in it right now except for a little hand sanitizer. This is what I've been using for like shop my stash type items, which is the video I'm gonna film after that. So you'll get to see this in use, but there's like, like I said, there's nothing in it as of now. So let me just put that to the side. In this bag, it houses all of my brushes. Off camera, I did like a brush declutter and I could probably stand to do another one. Like I just have a lot of repeat, repeat brushes and things that I'm not reaching for, but that's what this bag houses. And then here is my mirror. I just take it out when I need it. There is my like little tart mirror that you guys see me use in a bunch of videos. Um, and then I have my e.l.f. daily brush cleaner down in here and I have a, this is a Smashbox primer water bottle, but in here it's um, alcohol and so that is what I use to repress items. Up here, I hope you can see, um, is my big Adept palette and then I lay on top all of the palettes that I'm like, pro that are in projects like that I need to reach for easier. So here's like my pan that palette, the avocado toast and the Juvia's place. Um, they're all just right there in front, easy to get to. And then over here in this, there's like a plastic tub. You can kind of see the ring of it. 
it has all of my other palettes in it and so I really don't want to outgrow this like plastic tub with palettes so I've off camera done a little bit of decluttering in the palette arena I've had some new palettes come into my life um, I just have decided for myself personally doing declutters like on YouTube like on camera don't work for me because my process is to like pull it out and think about it play around with it put it back take it back out like it's a very just back and forth kind of thing and I have found that when I film declutters that I actually get rid of things and then I think about it later and I'm like oh but I really wish I had that so it's um it's like a months long process for me to actually declutter something but that's a little bit of a tangent anyway here's the overview of the first bin which is just basically like tools mirror and palettes <clears throat> okay so here's the second bin it looks a little bit more cluttered but this one houses all of my other like makeup items so it's gonna be looking a little rough but the way I've got it organized works for me and like I said I've got everything divided up into like bags so I'm not like constantly reaching in here if that makes sense so this first like big bag is from Tartan Twine this as you can see houses all of my like project pan items so I will just pull this out when I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I know to reach into this for like project pan type stuff um, and then that little gold bag that I showed you is what I'm going to use for shop my stash so realistically I'm only pulling out this bag that gold bag and then maybe like some like a setting spray or something like that like I'm not constantly reaching in and out of here I'm not saying this setup works for everyone but like I said I've had it for about two months now and it's been working for me so in this like tart makeup bag is where I put all of my like cream liquid like color pop kind of shadows um so that's what is in there then I have I don't know how well it's in frame but there's this little like box container which has like a bunch of like miscellaneous things that would go into the uh like little gold shop my stash bag i took everything out of there so you could see everything like in its place but um this mainly houses like liquid and cream type products and then underneath that i don't know how well you can see but i have like down right here um is like foundations primers concealers things like that and they all sit in this little basket and then I have my pan that face palette stuff and then in this larger basket as you can see is like blushes bronzers highlighters setting powders mascaras loose powders things like that um, then to the side of that is where I house all of my lip products so lip glosses um, lip balms, lip liners, lipsticks, things like that. Then in the corner, you can see I have like my setting sprays. I do right here have this Morphe palette. I chose to put this one in here as opposed to with my other palettes. One, because it's so large, but two, I'm pulling it out um, mainly every day to use it for my eyebrows. So I thought it worked better in this um, in, on this in this ottoman than in the other one so yeah that's uh just the quick like overview of everything um you know like i said not trying to sway you guys to change your life and do your makeup and house your things this way but i just thought it would be interesting since i have done a vanity tour on here before to show you that i have like changed my setup and um this is what i'm working with now so for the si blah, 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 blah. if I could talk for the foreseeable future you'll be seeing me pull items out of here for shop my stashes and um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks again for watching and I will just catch you in the next video bye